and configure things up. A uh, little bit of a heads up for you guys. If you've ever played this game casually, battle speed. I'm going to put this down to one. Uh, this doesn't affect your party. It doesn't affect the overall speed of the battle. That actually affects... Uh, your own party, basically. So, this is your own speed. It's kind of a, a hidden difficulty slider of sorts. So, if you put it at six and slow the battle down, the, the enemies will actually get more turns uh, versus your team getting more turns. So, putting this as low as possible is, is a good thing overall. Um, we're going to set this to memory, and I'm going to change this to a darker background for me to, to read it. For those that don't know me, I'm actually legally blind, um, oddly enough, since birth. No big deal. Uh, <laughs> and also dreadfully colorblind too, but still. So we're ready to rock here, folks. Here we go. In three, two, one, worlds collide. And we started with Umaro and Gao. Oh my god, we got Chuckles W73 and Noise Police. Let's take a look and see what we got here. Gao has Morph and Scat. What is this? What is the seed? Oh my god. <laughs> well, well, we're starting off real fun. Gao doesn't have any abilities to fight with. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, all right. Uh, well, this is this is an unprecedented start. Let's let's find some treasure that the, the we're gonna have to rely on the shoulders of the Yeti at this point. First things first, uh, we get we have access to Moogle charms. We get three of them, and anyone can wear them. We're gonna throw those on now. This is a brutal start. This is unbelievably brutal. So we're gonna we're gonna try to find uh, we're gonna try to find some gear. If we can gear up the Yeti. Even though he has Berserk, he possibly could do some work for us here. So you're going to see me go through a, a couple different locations. We're going to be looking into uh, item shops because we need to find some dried meat. Uh, that is basically a free check for for Gal. Umaro, we can't get to unless we beat Tritok in the World of Ruin. So th there's a lot to consider here, unfortunately. I'll try to, try to machine gun things out as best as possible. And... Uh, Anyway, for those that may look at this and think that this is going to be kind of daunting, uh, it is in, in its own regard, but it's super customizable. We found some rods we can possibly crack. That might be something we can do with, with Gao. Um, that's, that's a nice find for what it's worth. Uh, rods can do the second tier of magic, and they ignore magic defense, and they do a really high damage roll usually. Let's see, did we find dried meat early on? Possibly, maybe. Oh my god, dried meat on the first go. Very nice. We are, we're gonna come back for that. We're gonna go see what other treasures we have here. But we found dried meat, which means we can get a free check right out of the gate. Thank God. <laughs> Thank you, R and Jesus. So that that's a that's a good find. So we can we can technically go to the Velt and we can get a free check right out of the gates and possibly find another person. I'm really hoping we find somebody else. Ooh, experience egg. Super Bowl, let's go. We found two Super Bowls. Okay, we have, Gao has a chance of doing damage. <laughs> Which is great. Yeah, we'll take a peek in the, the item shop too. So shops are randomized, chests are randomized. Uh, Prices are randomized. There's a whole big... Yeah, we got lots of money to work with with the Super Bowl if we need to. All right, so what are we going to get rid of here? I think we're, we're going to drop one Super Bowl right there. And we're going to buy two dried meats just in case we miss menu. Revivify for later. Tonics will be our way to heal for a little bit. And we'll bring Phoenix down. All right. More treasure collection. Ahoy. But anyway, so this is actually a really, a really uh, great randomizer to get into. There are new players, uh, new player flags that we can check out. Uh, there's actually a Moogle's first seed, which is uh, presets that I actually have a video series that goes along with it to kind of teach you how to run the randomizer and what decision making there are. Uh, oh, we got warp stones here. 
grab a couple of those while we got a chance. That's what we need. That'll save us some time overall, so not too bad. Uh, we're gonna do some some additional treasure collection just while we have a chance. Then we will go to the we will go to the Velt. By the way, appreciate all you guys here. Congratulations for for hanging out and uh, glad to have you all. We're gonna go to Returner's Hideout first, which is oddly pretty good with uh, treasures. Again, for those that that don't know. Um, so a problem with my me being legally blind is I can't really use the, uh, the the map in the corner, so I have to basically go based on memory. I can't see the dot, so in the world of Ruin especially, you're going to see me wandering around quite a bit. And yeah, we can transition between... The, so why it's called Worlds Collide is that we have access to both... Pardon me, sir. We have access to both the World of Balance and the World of Ruin. Ooh, a hero rank is a nice find. He's going to be a jerk, isn't he? I need to go there. Thank you. You're going to see, so if you played this game casually and never really went back to it, uh, you're going to see a lot of hidden chests. I will point out some meme chests uh, that I'm going to go for that uh, are only hype to me, <laughs> but are never, they're never amazing. You know, they never have anything good. But if they do, today, I'm, I'm hoping that the marathon luck will be with us today. So the main thing that we're trying to do right now out of the gate is just get some gear. And we have access to a lot of free chests. Uh, we're trying to get to... Ooh, Super Bowls are pretty cheap for what it's worth there. Not bad. Not bad. Um, trying to get gear to kind of get things started before we start fighting bosses and whatnot. Yeah, the Cat Hood is nice. I'm good with that. We're gonna go South Figaro next. This one has a lot of chests and a lot of hidden ones that maybe you don't know about. Or maybe you do, we'll see. And uh, I can guarantee I don't know everything. Uh, I've been playing this game for a long time and the randomizer has really taught me a lot for what it's worth. If you want to learn more about this game, it's fantastic. I should also mention that uh, Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide is a fantastic community. Definitely go check out the website ff6wc.com and check out their Discord. Uh, they will gladly help you out, and there's always tons of helpful people that are there. And if you want to learn more about this game, an Apple weapon on sale. How about that? We got rods back in Narsh I can possibly grab, too. I need to remember that. Uh, but one thing I will note is that... <laughs> There's an apple weapon in the barrel. Uh, one thing I will note is that this fixes a lot of issues, like the evade bug is fixed, um, vanish doom is fixed, meme, meme chest number one. We found a ribbon, not bad. Okay, that's a good sign. So this one, some people go to, some things are out of the way. But uh, some people will skip that one because it's a bit annoying to get to, but I like always checking it. Yes, I already have the two dried meats already. We're good. So we will be going there next. That'll be our first check, and uh, we just need to, to beat one boss. Since we have not fought anything, it's going to be a Lobo. Because the Velt will only, show you or will only show you enemies that you've encountered. But anyway, if you want to learn more about Final Fantasy VI, uh, I would say this randomizer will teach you amazing things. And not to mention there's a lot of fun glitches, too, that you'll, you'll find. That just things that the game did not expect to have happen. Uh, but a big shout out to, to Atmatech, who is, the, the, I think, the sole developer on this. Um, there are lots of fun things you can do with the randomizer. There's a lot of... Oh, well, no, another, uh, another ribbon. Um, a lot of really fun things you can do with the randomizer. A lot of things that can be tweaked. Like palettes. Like, you can see, like, Omar looks a little dingy. <laughs> let's, see, let's see what uh, Gao's palette looks like really quick. Uh, apparently, uh, Gao is going through his rebellious phase and dyed his hair. Never loved me, Dad. <laughs> All right. So overall, we haven't found anything amazing. Like I, I have, I mean, we're looking for any sort of magical resistance would be nice right now. 
uh, Illumina or a Ragnarok or fixed dice or an offering or just anything like amazing that we can call out there. The cool thing about this is that there, there's there's no you know it, it's not there's no set path to really beat a seed. If you watch a race, and I think that they're still doing the weekly community races as well, uh, everyone will take different paths. Ultimately, it's very rare that a seed will will, will do things in a, in a set way. All right, we're going to make our way to the Velt, which is right here, the, this big green mass. Okay, what gear do we have to give our friend Umaro? A, a wing edge and a cat hood. Great. We're going to be saving a lot because this thing can troll you pretty hard. Okay, here's the Lobo that I called out. Should be pretty easy for uh, our friends to take care of. And we didn't get a character. <laughs> Please, Umar, do not slap him. Please do not slap him. Do not kill. All right, we got our first Magicite. Mark him a tracker. There actually is an auto tracker ability that's out there. All right, maybe we can give uh, give our friend Noise Police here. Give him some magic. Life 2, W win, and Quake. <laughs> I love how it's magic that hurts my party too. This, you know what? We're starting off with a fun seed, folks. We're, I'm having a fun time, to quote uh, our good buddy Skunky. Oh, you know what? We're going to give... We're gonna give you the hero, the experience egg, and the hero ring, my friend. Do do you at least have natural magic noise? You don't. Okay. Sometimes we can get random natural magic, and it would be flagged there. All right. Oh wait. Ooh, we have cherub down actually. That it gives us float, so that might actually give some some viability to to quake strats. Um, well, what do we do? We don't have a lot of options. We could keep doing some exploring for, for, for stuff. I think I might dip my toe into Serpent Trench. See if we can, if we can level up some guys here. This one's not too bad. Yeah, it should be pretty quick. So, there's unavoidable fights here that we have, but we're gonna, we're gonna go in the Serpent Trench. And hopefully the enemy assortment is kind. Hopefully. Also, a banger of a track, Serpent Trench. Mode 7, let's go. Oh my gosh. We're going to leave. Well, Rip Chuckles. <laughs> I love this seed. I love this seed. We're in for a ride, folks. I'm going to do the best I possibly can with what the hand I've been dealt. And this is why you usually vet seeds beforehand. We just need to make it to a cave. Good block noise, please. Let's go. So this is a really bad start, for what it's worth. I'm sure you guys can probably tell, but... We bought some Phoenix Downs. We also have 99 Tonics. And an Elixir ain't one. Okay, we may be able to beat this one, at least. That was 300 damage. I hate to use it on this fight. 
We're gonna do it. Nice. Lowest roll possible. Let's go. Trying to get the get the boys some experience if we can. Alright. Perry shouldn't have sketched him. Our good friend Gao is not very good at art. Okay, they have a lot of health. They have a lot of health. The good news is, you know what? Chuckles here, our good friend Umaro, has a snow muffler on. So he should actually be able to take this. Even if they blizzard, he will absorb that. Yeah, I could have sketched the guard. Oh well. <laughs> you will you will see me you will see me make uh, a lot of dumb mistakes because again there's a lot to kind of consider with each fight everything is its own little thing I can't bring noise police back to life unfortunately we are in berserk mode by process of elimination I'm hoping that this will be a, a character to help open up some additional checks the good news is there's no boss here we just need to make it to the end yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> Alright, we can bring Noise back to life. We can potion up here, too. We're gonna grab that chest and hope for the best. Flame Saber, all right. Last stretch of the Serpent Trench, we're just gonna make it through. If we find those level 40, 50, 60 magics again, we're gonna have to run. Oh, good! We made it. Okay, Serpent Trench is done. Please give me a character. We found Shadow. The Retro Runner has come to save us. Shadow gets to have some free checks too. Hopefully, let's go. It's not Go Go, it's Shadow, baby. Shadow has health and magic and fights. So, no natural magic for what it's worth, but still. I need to get some shields and stuff here. Things are not looking great. I don't know if the gauntlet actually will work or not, but considering that I don't have a shield, we'll go with it. <laughs> yeah, the yellow ninja, he really blends in. We got earrings and a wall ring here. I think we'll buy, we'll buy some earrings here. We'll buy a wall ring for some protection. We're gonna try to keep our Yeti friend alive. I think. All right. That may not be the right play, but we'll see. What gear do we have to work with? That child is just going nuts. Enhancer's a nice one. Good magic power boost on that one. Need to buy some tents. Buy a couple more Phoenix Downs to work with. Green Cherry. Stock back up on our tonics. Alright, we're gonna get out of Nakia now. So Shadow has a few checks. Shadow unlocks a free check by Gao's dad's house, which is not too far from here. Now nah, we're gonna pass on Magicite. Magicite is a it's a one in twenty-four chance of death. Hello! We found Yogurt Archangel. 
Our good, our good friend Setzer, who also gets us another free check in Kalingen in the World of Ruin, which we'll go to. And also a pretty easy one then too, Daryl's Tomb to go to. What does Yogurt got for us? Natural magic. Okay, the experience egg's going here. He's got tools and magic. We have some good details to work with here. Why did it unequip his head? That was interesting. Okay, natural magic. We want to put the experience egg on him. Put a ribbon on. We'll see what that merchant had to offer really quick. We already have our warp stones. We're good. We're good. Huh, I never knew that, Fraggle. I never knew that. Okay. We're gonna dip our toe into the world of ruin. So also Shadow unlocks the floating continent, which is a whole bunch of fights. There's also some free other like free checks you can do. Uh, Kefka and Narsh, you could do at any time. You can do Tri Talk in Umaro's cave. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll try our hand at Tri Talk really quick. We'll see what that's looking like. Since we're here and we have Umaro, so we can do both of them back to back. And we have that free check in Kalingen then. So you guys, I will, I will do Kefka at Narsh. I'm pretty sure, and you guys will see. And that will uh, have a unique strategy. If you guys ever remember that from Vanilla, you know, it's a big battle you have to kind of deal with a, a lot of people. It's a big mess to get to, to Kefka. Well, there are certain strategies we can take to, to make that a little easier. I'll show you guys in a little bit. We're going to avoid this uh, this dragon. If you guys remember, the, the requirements to get into Kefka's tower are, well, the final boss, leave me alone, sir, uh, is 7-10-0. Seven characters, ten pieces of magicite, and zero dragons. You can actually require the dragons if you want to. Let's see what Tritok is. Okay. So natural magic, I start with mute. Let's see if I can actually mute him. I don't even think I can sketch him. Nope. Try it. We'll try one more time. Why not? Do we have any any items I can crack? No, we don't. We don't have any rods. This might be a reset, but we'll we'll play it out. We'll see what happens. The Yeti might be able to do it. If I'm being completely honest. Oh, no doggo. Oh, Yogurt just met his maker. There's a fun glitch right there. We have a wall ring on. Go, doggo, go, go! Oh, it missed! <laughs> so, if you use health against something that has a reflect, the sprite will keep walking forward. Okay, I'm wondering. Ooh, the body check. The Yeti might be able to do this. It's gonna be, it's not gonna be fast, but I, I kind of believe.
Okay, Atomic Ray is a bit scary. It's down to him. He's he's doing good damage with those body slams. <laughs> I, I was like, this this is just this is a crapshoot at this point. We'll see what happens. He's imped. Oh, he's annihilated, stoned. Well, it's over. <laughs> well, now we know what's that. We now we we know what's that uh, try talk, and we can come back for that later. I really wanted him to pull that out as best as possible. If he had if he had a ribbon on, he would have been able to make it. <laughs> the poor Yeti. Alright, uh, we're gonna do that free check then. You always want to save because Doom Gaze is always lurking. Alright, we gotta find. Sorry again, I'm gonna search around for where Kalingen is. There it is. And the free check here for Setzer, which is absolutely free and clear, just we come into here. We found ourselves Mr. D&D Nat 21, which is Mog. I'm sorry, noise police. I'm gonna swap you out for someone that has a fight command. Potentially. GP Rain magic, no natural magic. Yeah, we had two ribbons, I know. Going to unequip noise really quick. And who should we give that Esper to? Who's got a good magic stat out of the gate here? Magic power 29, 37 for Mog. <laughs> the Yeti has the highest. guys we're gonna go to we're gonna try our hand at daryl's tomb which is right over here mog has a free check in narsh this is the like the misfits run all right so we have five characters out of the gate here and one magic is that where we're at there we are, yeah. We already have five characters, which is kind of nice. This is a quick dungeon with one boss fight. I forgot to put the, the Moogle Charm back on. That's fine, we should be able to take this. I hope. Nope! <laughs> go ahead, Yeti, go for it! Go for it! I, I've never had a seed where I've had to stand on the shoulders of Umaro. But I kinda like it. It's almost too fitting. I gave him a hero ring because he's, he's a hero. <laughs> we'll bring everybody back with a tent uh, toward the end here. That's why you always remember to put your Moogletron back on, folks. It's, am it, it's amazing how off the rails this can go and the fact that this is a marathon, and this, this is definitely a marathon, folks, if there was any question about it. Uh, there's nothing that really can prepare you for a randomizer at, uh, at a marathon. Other than someone vetting the seed, saying, yes, this is sane. Hey, look, we found almost- that was French vanilla right there. We found, uh, the experience egg, one away- and another wing edge. What? Can I- can I find, like, an Illumina or something? Can we get some good stuff? Minerva? Horse gear? Anything? <laughs> Only wing edge, yes. Until until the end. 
I see you, chat. Loving the fact that you guys are all here, by the way. Murasame. Okay, so we have... There's a monster in a box over here we can at least try our hand at to possibly get a little more experience. We're gonna have a, a quick camping trip while we're here. Let's see what this is. I'll reset if it's anything bad. It's not that it's awful. It's just that I don't want to fight presenter. For what it's worth. Not, not a boss I'm looking for. Speaking of bosses, let's see what this one is. LFP sleeps here. It's a character. And that's Cyan, which opens up a lot of good checks. I want that Funbaba putting the fun back into randomizers. Can we mute him? I don't think we can. How much money? How much does money do? Can I just throw money at this problem to get rid of it? Ah, 420, baby. <laughs> oh, boy. So we may need to go back to Narsh and uh, buy some rods. Dude, that Yeti freaking took that like like a champ. Ooh. I just need to get some bodies here at this point. Oh, that helped. Come on, Yeti. Come on, Yeti. Please survive that. Oh my god, okay. It's all on the Yeti once again. Zero damage. If I put if I put a wall ring back on Chuckles, I think we can do this fight. Come on, baby. Four life. Four life. Funbaba unfortunately has a lot of health. Two damage. Come on. That, that's gonna kill. Oh man, we, we can do this. We can do this. I believe in the Yeti. If we throw a wall ring on him, he will live. What I will do, we can do this. Honestly, we can do this. I'm doing I'm doing this for the hype at this point. It's gonna happen. Oh, he had the Moogle Charm on. That was even a dead thing. If he's gonna be the one to kind of carry us at this point, we're gonna do it. He's got everything he needs, basically. Except the shield that he actually can use. So we got double experience eggs, don't we? Yeah. Not really much we can do, unfortunately. I'm gonna pull Omaro to the front. Oh, he has a wing edge. So, no, he can stay in the back. That's right. 
We're gonna try to keep him alive. I believe in him. This might be a fool's errand, but we're gonna do, we're gonna do it. Gauntlet on a wing edge? Is that a thing? I don't know. I don't know. We're just gonna try to keep him alive as best as we can. Unfortunately, he retaliates everything. Do we have any potions I can throw at him? Got dried meat. We got X potions. No regular potions, it looks like. Ooh! Alright, well, this might be the fool's errand, unfortunately. We may have to walk away. So what would be next, then? Uh, we could check, check the, the Velt Cave for Shadow, potentially. We could do Kefka at Narsh. Alright, at least we have somewhat of a fighting chance now with a, with a barrier ring. I just want to see this Yeti do it for us. Megavolt goes through Reflect. Physical damage won't won't do much to us. So you know you know how, how RNG was kind of the thing for Final Fantasy IV that we just watched? We're kinda of at that same point right now where we got a berserker trying to do this. Megavolt is pretty much the worst thing he can do right now, as well as the Well, he keeps going going for it, unfortunately. He can do this. I do believe. But there's there's no expectation. <laughs> believe in the Yeti. 600, I mean, if he keeps throwing himself at him, 600 and some damage. If we could find a Rage Ring or a Blizzard Orb, that would be nice, too. Yeti with a boomerang. There's your there's your fan art right there. I've never had a seed that has hinged so heavily on Umaro surviving. Come on, crack boom at some point. Let's go. <laughs> I can't believe it! He did it! Unbelievable! Oh my god. Oh my god, let's get hype chat. The mad lad did it. Okay, we have lore, which is not great. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. All right. So we're gonna go do, we have a free check for Mog really quick, we're gonna go do. We have seven characters already. We have met our character requirement. We have one piece of Magisite. <laughs> Oh, what the heck, let's- let's dip our toe in to see what, uh... 
let's see what's in here. Can we run away from this? We don't want this. What lore do you know? There's oh, he knows Grand Train! That's the strongest lore in the game right there! That was pointless. I probably should just run away from this. It's not even a good fight for what it's worth. Run, ready, run, run Yeti, go! Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna save the time. You get a Gradius for beating that, which is a holy a holy knife. It's okay. It's not great. Tell you what, uh, we're gonna dip our toe into uh, to Kefka at Narsh and hope for the best. So I get to show you guys that fun strat. We are in Narsh right now, so I may actually buy some rods while I'm here too that we can possibly crack and uh, work with. So we're setting up the the check. I think this is always empty. Yeah, we're setting up the check for Mog, which is uh, the only one that he has, unfortunately. Which is the pickpocket. We have your lone wolf. And that is a free check at the top of the mountain. And by the way, our friend LFP is Lord Fancy Puss, who oddly enough kind of looks like Cyan. It was a toss-up between him and my buddy It's Alty, who also kind of looks like Cyan. So... Oh, the old mustache samurai. I would love to find someone that has sword tech. That'd be nice. Yeah, Striker was in the shop. If we had Terra, we could go check Welk, but we're gonna pass on that for now. So we're, we're gonna go walk up to the top of the mountain. We're gonna save. We're gonna try our hand at Kefka at Narsh first, I think. Because basically the, the enemies get stronger with every check that we do. No, it, it, not, a, not a Coliseum. Okay, so we have an imp standing here. This is either an item or a Magisite for this check. So. We're going we're gonna to try this. We'll try this. <laughs> it asked me if I'm prepared. I don't know if I really am. If I'm being completely honest with myself. We got to bring the Yeti. Okay, so again, welcome to Kevkit Narsh. We have a lot of fights ahead of us. This is a universal check. You don't need anybody for this. This is just, you can do this whenever, basically. Big mess of enemies gonna get through to get to Kefka. Uh, this was a long, drawn out process when playing the game casually. But if you stand in two certain spots, You can just let them mosey on by. Yeah, we, we got strats. We got strats. And let's find out what Kefka is. Oh my god! <laughs> I love this seed. I love this seed so much. We don't even have enough MP for Grand Train yet. You know what? Just give it your all. You guys are, are experiencing something incredible right now. This is second Atma. Mm. 
There's no way he's gonna win this. There's no way. You best be frozen. Yeah, it's not even worth it. Okay, so we're gonna grab our free check and go. Yeah. <laughs> I have played many seeds. I thought I knew a lot about this game. And sometimes, on very special occasions such as today, you'll never get this Magus Rod. I'll take my, my hand at this. Give me Magisite. Give me something. Give me something good. Something better than a Magus Rod. Okay, we got Shiva. That's progress. Mag power plus one is kind of nice. Alright, unfortunately we can't warp stone out of Narsh. Yep, we're at Magisite 2 at this point. Again, if you guys ever forget where you're at, you can just check here. So we have six characters right now. I thought we had seven. I had miscounted. Yep, we have six characters. So we do need one more character yet, which is fine. We do have some checks that we can do. Uh, there's a pretty quick one that we can do for Cyan, which is uh, the attack at Doma we're going to go to next, which is just a singular boss fight. We just have to make it there, basically. So not too bad. Uh, we also have uh, Science Nightmare and World of Ruin, which I don't think we're ready for yet. We don't really have a, a lot of offense. <laughs> we're standing on the shoulders of a Yeti at this point. That's all we really got to work with. <laughs> Every boss is Atma. It's kind of starting to feel that way, isn't it? Because that was, that was Tritok, wasn't it, that had Atma? We also have a free check for Cyan, which is uh, Zozo, or Mount Zozo in World of Ruin. We're gonna go to Doma first. Which is right, I just actually just passed over it, right here. I do recommend, by the way, don't be dissuaded by this. It is a very rewarding thing to play this randomizer. It's a lot of fun. If you've played Free Enterprise for Final Fantasy IV, you'd feel right at home doing this. Dullahan. Well, get an aqua rake off. At least something. Good job. Oh no. Okay, hold on. We can fix this. We can fix this. We can't fix this. <laughs> I don't have eye drops. I don't have a remedy. What am I doing? <laughs> the Yeti can't hit nothing. Well, that 1,600 damage will help. Throw your body at him. There you go. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do an item an item trip. <laughs> That's gonna heal him. Unfortunately, holy does heal. I'm curious how much he'll heal for. Actually, that did damage? What? Okay, fine. Go for it, Yeti. Go for it. Go for it. I'm not even playing this game anymore. So the, the ability reflect triple question mark, what it does is it imposes 
status effects that are on whatever character uses it to, to whatever the target is. So he can only use it once. Yeti only seed. I didn't expect the, an Umaro centric seed. I really didn't. But he's 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 crushing it, dude. He's crushing it. No, none of that. Don't don't start curing yourself. I gotta ask you guys, are you guys having a good time watching this? Are you guys having fun? I hope you I honestly I hope you guys really are. Also, how did a Yeti take a damage from a snowball? I kind of want to see it out. I kind of want to. He will unfreeze eventually. Fun as heck. You guys are having fun. That's all that matters. So long as you're enjoying this glorious train wreck. Uh, I am, I'm glad to be here with you. If you guys have any questions about it, I'm trying to keep up with the chat. But you guys, this is the, the most active I've seen chat uh, for a while. So you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for, for coming out here and hanging out and enjoying this. Clearly, we're going to have a lot of this content. Now, will that kill? Or does that have... Okay, so that, that does half the damage. That may kill. That, that healed him. Never mind. I'll be quiet. Once he unfreezes, he's in for a hurting. The only problem is that this the frozen thing takes way like the, the thawing time takes way too long. So that should do it. Yes? Nope. Umar was a tank. He he is he is just built tough. <laughs> Yes, Umaro is still carrying this accursed seed. I thought to myself last night when I rolled the seed, I'm like, how bad could it be? We don't need to vet this. We don't need to have someone go through this. We're going to do it live. And now I understand why people vet seeds beforehand. To avoid especially bad things like this. Because it's not always like this. Sometimes you get a seed where you steamroll everything. Where you get an Illumina and Ragnaroks or fixed dice or Minervas. I, I one seed I had yesterday, I pulled a Minerva on the first the first chest. And what that is is basically one of the best pieces of armor in the game, hands down. It's uh It basically nullifies all magic for what it's worth. The poor Yeti. The frozen thing, I forgot how long it lasted. It lasts a long time. So, we're gonna, we're gonna need to get some items. Oh, he died. The poor Yeti. It was a slow death. Alright, so, we know Dullahan's there. We know it's possible to beat him. Unfortunately, that's, that scar beam or whatever he used out of the gates is what killed the entire party. So, we're gonna go do a free check for, for Cyan. In the world of ruin. Yeah, F for Umaro. You hate to see it. You really do. Alright, now I need I have here's the fun part of me trying to find out where I'm going. Again, can't see the map, so I'm gonna have to just basically go based on memory. This is the Velt. This is Dinosaur Forest. We need to find Oh, there's Kepka's Tower. going to check Zen really quick. We're going to buy some items while I have a chance. And while we're here, we're going to check the corner and see how much this is worth. We need eye drops. We need some remedies. The warp stones there. The echo screen. I need a couple of those. I'll buy a couple of potions too while we're at it. I'm just going to peek and see how much this guy's charging. Usually it's cheaper in the world of balance, I feel. Yeah, 29,000. Cat Jam. So good. Okay, let's think here. So Zozo's near Jador, which is right here. Yeah, that's Zozo. 
Do we have enough for the rust aid? I hope we do. If not, we meant to sell. I have pretty low cash. How much is the rust aid going to cost me? Thousand bucks. Okay. Big meme chest here. We're going for the chainsaw chest. It's a singular chest that takes some time to get. You have to put the exact time on the clock, which is 6, 10, 50. I've never gotten anything good here. Please let this be the moment we find the item that cracks the seed wide open. I love this seed. I'm having a great time. <laughs> I'm having a great time because you fine folks are here. There are, there are a lot of priceless moments in this, isn't there? I'm so glad. Thank you to the RGL staff for allowing me to show you guys this. And for, my goodness, for having such a wonderful time. <laughs> We're in this together, folks. You know what? We're in for a ride here. I, I wanted this to be a good chill stream. I didn't even see what I just grabbed there. I wanted this to be a good chill stream. Just where we're just kind of hanging out, doing our thing. And I expected it to be kind of fairly... Ooh, a force shield. There we go. That's something good. I expected this to be fairly uneventful. Uh, how wrong I was. Ribbon number three. Tortoise shield. That's an, that's an item I've, I have not seen in a long time. So it, it ain't looking good, folks, for us meeting the estimate. If I'm being completely blunt. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna have to give it the old college try. Oh my god. Alright, who's that Pokemon? Hey, we found Celis. Free check after free check after free check. Maybe she's got something good. Maybe she's got some natural magic. That's character number seven, though, by the way, folks. Legit. <laughs> it means the world to me, though, that you guys are all here hanging out. It's glad to have you all here enjoying Retrothon 2021. Uh, this is the first of three runs I'll be doing for the, for the marathon, for what it's worth. So if you enjoy hanging out with me, definitely check out the Demon Sword run that's going to be happening sometime tomorrow or next week, depending on how the seed goes. And we're going to see what Celis has. Sword tech, here we go. Okay, sword tech is very useful. We now have a chance to, I think we're gonna beeline it to Cyan's dream. And hope, and just, ho and just hope for the best, honestly. Honestly, I'm really hoping that we're gonna get lucky. We have to, there's two boss fights, but you get basically four things for doing it. It's super good, as well as unlocking all the sword techs. We can make Celis basically a goddess. I forgot what the tortoise shield def protects against, but that magic defense is super nice. Oh, baby. Okay. Umaro now is a tank. Even more so. You know what? We're going to pull it into the back line. Doesn't even matter. Okay. We're going we're gonna to gamble. We're going to go do Cyan's Dream. <clears throat> We also have the access to do Search the Skies. With Setzer in your party, you can basically fight Doomgaze, or whatever the boss is that's in the sky. So maybe we'll do, we'll do a quick check for that and see what we're, what we're dealing with there. What, what's in the skies? <clears throat> Come on, be Welk. Well, that's scary. I'm not even going to entertain this. Nope, not even going to entertain it.
<laughs> Not Welk. Here's the good news, folks. We're finding a lot of really crappy things outside of Kefka's Tower. That means Kefka's Tower, by process of elimination, should be good. We hope, right? Okay, if we don't run into Goddess now, that'd be great, too. Alright, Doma should be over somewheres. Alright, there is Doma. Please, 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 be kind to me with Cyan's dream. I have not asked for much. Oh, by the way, I didn't introduce, uh, Celis. Uh, Celis's name is Music B, that's, uh, that is Music Box. Uh, Mary, she's a fantastic streamer, good friend of mine, too. And she runs Castlevania 64. Hey, we found a remedy. Nice. We're gonna raid this area for treasure. We're gonna go to an area that usually some people don't go to, but I'm I'm getting kind of desperate for, for treasure at this point. <laughs> you guys in chat are so great. Oh my god. You have you have made honestly, I, I would normally feel pretty stressed about this, that you know the seed's not going well and stuff like that, but since everyone's having such a great time being super supportive, it's been super fun. I'm I'm ha I'm legit having a very good time with this. And it is all thanks to you, fine folks. So thanks for being here. Yeah, we finally have a tool. Can you believe it? Hey, do we have... Who currently has a Moogle Charm? Okay, LFP's got a Moogle Charm. Remember, we do have rods we can use. That's more a reminder for myself. So, we just need to make it through two bosses. That's all we gotta do. Oh, thank God! I found you! This is fine. Okay, the Yeti's gonna just attack the shell. There's nothing I can do about it. Plasma? Oh boy. Yeti, calm down. Yeti, calm Oh my, okay. <laughs> Even Welk is hiding secrets. Umaro, okay. Umaro just once. Wow, he took that Gigavolt like a champ. Okay. Um, I've never wanted to have a pop, like a, a prop popcorn nearby more than now. It's cute one time when the Yeti has to save the seed. It's kind of cute the second time. This is what? The fourth time that we've had to rely on Umaro to, to do something? No one else is gaining experience. That's the problem. <laughs> Umaro will not make it through the entire climb. Yeah, the new Yeti meta. So right now, he's rocking a wing edge, a tortoise shield, which has, I believe, some resistances on it, which is kind of nice. Uh, a cat hood. And so he has a snow muffler, which is an amazing piece of armor for what it's worth. Yes, good Yeti. Attack the head. I believe that you actually can kill Welk by attacking the shell, oddly enough, so the damage he is doing is doing something. 
Also, Welk goes into a shell way too fast. Oh, I put the tortoise shell on Celts. Okay, he has a, he has a force shield. That's right. Oh my god, he took plasma like a champ. So the force shield, the cat hood, and the thank you for reminding me, and the snow muffler. <laughs> Yet he can survive the climb. I love this. I love that 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 both you guys and myself are getting behind this this Umaro. Fifty K is nothing for this beast. I like how he has the option to attack the face and just chooses not to. Kill the shell. <laughs> he will do this. There's, there's nothing here that Welk is doing that's, that's scaring me. It's just that he's dragging the seed out, unfortunately, for the sake of just dragging it out. Uh, my humble apologies in advance, even though we've got two hours left on my estimate. My humble, my humble apologies to the RGL staff. And trying to keep the, the marathon on, on track, but uh, it seems you guys are all having a fun time, and so am I. Simon, why are you dreaming about this? <laughs> I gotta say that this, this Welk is on steroids, though. I can't apologize for RNG. Well, I, I could have done, uh, I could have did some vetting, you know, I could have had a, a trusted friend of mine boot the seat up and just say, no, this is not, this is not it, Chief, you know, this is not the one you want. I like how, how Welk is out for one attack and then leaves. I have to imagine that we're, we're going to, it's going to pick up at some point. We're, we're going to find the, the thing that cracks the seat open. Unfortunately, for those that are sitting there thinking, hey, maybe you'll find Ultima, or you can learn Ultima from a Magisite, we will not be doing that. Uh, I'm, I'm running the standard race flags, and basically what that means is Ultima is disabled. Nothing teaches Ultima. A Paladin shield doesn't teach Ultima. We will never find it. So you have to at least know the weaknesses for the most part. Meteor would be nice to find, or a character that has shock. <laughs> I, th I think that that is the the perfect way to surmise it at this point. Uh, so Mike Mike uh, Mike Takami just said in chat, a friend would have vetted the seed to find a good one. A good friend would one hundred percent make you play this seed. I think a lot of people are invested in this on how this train wreck goes. If anyone has any questions about this, this is now the time to ask because uh, I, I have a little bit until the Yeti can figure this fight out. You guys are probably wondering, why am I not resetting at this point? Uh, you gotta let the Yeti do his thing. And with Plasma and Bolt Edge just kind of wrecking everybody, you know, it is what it is. Yeti Spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, Grand Train will be very helpful. We'll, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> this is under underdog, right, exactly. A body slam to the face. That's what we want. That's what we want. Also, uh, for those that are, that are out there, could someone tell me what color is uh, Umaro? Is he got like yellowy green? Is that what color he is? I can't tell, so. The Under Yeti. <laughs> Grand Train Wreck. You know what? That's a really good, that's a really good hashtag for this one. Would someone be, uh, Orange? Really? Orange? Oh, okay. He's kind of flesh colored. <laughs> he's, he's the freshly shorn Umaro. Can't believe it. <laughs> Umaro looks terms of. Yeah, right. 
Well, thank you, chat, for letting me know that we have a naked Yeti on the loose. It just makes it so much better now. He's just throwing his naked body at people and doing maximum damage. It's a beautiful thing. If, if that doesn't summarize this, uh, this seed... How many hours have we been here? Uh, so we're at... The seed started an hour and nine minutes ago. The estimate is three hours. So... We gotta really hustle at this point. We have a lot, a lot of ground to make up. The good news is we've already met our character uh, requirement. We have seven characters, which is great. And characters are a lot more rare than Magicite. We need to find eight more pieces of Magicite. Oh, we were hitting this estimate easy until the, the seed was like, hold my beer and uh, <laughs> this is what we're doing. Yeah, Knights of the Round in FF7 is pretty, pretty bad, especially if you have the, uh, the quad summon thing. At that point, you just basically fire it off and walk away. It doesn't help that we got slimed in the process. If we had a pair of marble shoes, this would be very nice. So I thought you could kill the shell. Maybe the shell has a lot more health than I thought, but, um... The Yeti has landed some attacks against the head a couple of times. The good news is it looks like there's no way that the Welk can kill this. So it, it, this is the immovable object uh, versus the unstoppable force. This is Limbo personified. <laughs> Will the head or shell go down? That's... <laughs> 50,000 HP, huh? That's if it was- that's if it was unscaled. The, the HP should be scaled, if I imagine, at this point. Wow, amazing that- that the shell absorbs lightning, but Welk himself doesn't. That just did damage to his face. Vanilla head is 16 hundo, yeah, but again, it's this is scaled because we've definitely thrown our body at it and done half that health before. So you kind of like this is we're at the point of no return at this point. We have to see this through because this check is really good. I'm just being hopeful that the next boss we'll find will be kind to us because we have to find a second one to get actually get out of the dream. So, this could be all for naught, if you believe it or not. I don't want to think that. I really don't. Positive vibes only, my friends. <laughs> we are all, we're all invested. Speaking of, how many, how many viewers we got right now? Just for, for posterity's sake, for anyone that's watching the VOD. How many people do we have currently watching slash listening to this train wreck? I would love an offering. I think, I think the, that's what the Yeti needs. 443. That's the, the HTTPS port right there. 437. Yep, Mike Takami knows what's up. Us IT guys are here. You threw your body at the wrong one there, buddy. Add two cats to the viewer count. Hello, fellow network nerd. Uh, I work in IT security, but I've, I've been in IT for, for 10 plus years. I forget how long anymore. I think I, I think I started IT shortly after this fight began. The shell ran out of MP. <laughs> The good news is that we'll speed things up slightly because uh, we won't see the animation now. Yeah, right, exactly. Come on, Yeti. Get the head. Attack the head. Ninja Gaiden, kill the head. 
How much health could you possibly have, Welk? This is the longest Welk fight in all of Final Fantasy VI history. You guys are watching history right now. I, I know it's not the most riveting of content. I realize that. I kind of want to see the shell die. Oddly enough. <laughs> well, percent. Yeah, honestly, look. If, we, if can I just like can I clunk after uh, after this this fight's done? Can we just say this is Kefa? This is the true final boss, and just be done with it. No, this is amazing. I, I love you guys so much. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, it ran out of MP, I know. <laughs> if only if it ran out of MP, the head would just stay out. I've never been stuck in, 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 a, in a loop like this before. I, I knew... So, I knew I was in for something special. When we started the seed, for those that are coming in halfway through this, you start with two random characters. Um, we start with Gao, and we start with Umaro. And Umaro's start is always kind of rough, and actually there's there's an option in the randomizer settings where you can um, set the characters. It's either random, you know, specific characters, or random, no Umaro, no Go-Go, because they have such limited checks. The worst possible start you can have is Umaro, Go-Go. Like, that's pretty bad. But the fact that we start with Umaro and Gao, and Gao didn't even have the fight command, that was a problem, and I kind of knew what we were in for going into this. So, any expectations I had of having this being a god seed, or being, you know, a really good showcase of, of skill and ability and being able to steamroll through, that went out the window a long time ago. We're living through history at this point, right? The hands-free starter pack. <laughs> All right, uh, let's play. Let's play a little mini game here in chat. The timer's at one hour sixteen. When do you guys think this fight will end? Uh, my bet is one hour twenty-one. I like how everyone's checking the schedule. <laughs> Uh, for those that don't know, in the, the bottom the bottom corner there, we have, uh... Man, we got a lot of people active in chat. Much love to you guys. I, I see you, chat. Did I see a two-hour? 216? All right, we, we have to go back for posterity and see who got the closest. I'm saying 121 flat. It's gonna happen. I honestly, so if I was playing this at any other point, <laughs> whoever wins, we lose. Uh, if I was playing this anywhere else, yeah, unprecedented crisis. Uh, if I was playing this anywhere else and, and not for a marathon, um, I would reset by now. Because obviously, like, I, I'm, I'm clearly stuck for what it's worth. But we're so invested, you guys are all here with us, and it's... This is never... This is never going to happen again. It doesn't help that that Umaro is slowed, for what it's worth. This could be the first ever Welk shell kill that we're gonna see. Well, I shouldn't say that. Because, you know, you can do 50,000 damage in a turn with the right equipment. The right forethought and planning. Umaro, however, does not plan. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> These are the seats we live for. Yeah. He did it! He did it! The Yeti did it! It's over! Crack Boom was around 118. He just earned those 4,000 experience points. And we got Bahamut. My god. Who had, eight who had 118? Raise your hand.
All right, I'm I'm gonna tent up really fast, and I'm gonna save here. There's no there's no combat on this train. I'm just saving for the sake of saving at this point. I don't want to go through that again. I have no idea how long that fight was. I apologize again for how long that was. It looks like we're not going to be getting a character here. This could be another piece of magicite. Or an item. If you sat through that entire fight... Oh, we got a blizzard orb! Yeah, that was a 20 minute fight. I did not expect that. I apologize for that. But you know what? We all have we all had a moment. That is one I'm going to always remember for what it's worth. It's why we play randomizers, right? What am I doing? In the span of the, the 20 years that that fight took, I've forgotten how to play this game. Yeah, worth it for the Yeti memes. The naked Yeti just throwing his body. The best worst 20 minutes. <laughs> Again, loved you all. It's just... You gotta remain positive through all that, you know? It's it's all in good fun, and that's why we're here. That's why you play games. You play games to have fun. So here's the question, though. Here's the problem. We're not out of this yet. We have one more boss fight until we're free from the dream to do what we want. I don't know what this boss fight is going to be. I honestly don't know. I just hope it's something the Yeti can kill. Not another Atma, no, no. We found Atma, we found Atma weapon. I've, it, it can't happen, can it? All right. Ultros! Uncle Ulti has come to save us! We're going to actually make it out of here alive. We did it. Can't believe it. Can we get a desperation attack? One in 16? Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, desperation attack. Let's see it.
So the fact that that music box has a uh, tortoise shield on is quite nice. I have some rods I can crack, too. This should do some this should do some work right here. block we did it <laughs> we are free and now Celis is a god we have access to quadra slice and cleave all the sword text now all in one go and we got a magicite and also we get another bonus too for this Can't believe it. Okay. So we had Dullahan. Lots of Magicite. Hopefully, one of these Espers has strength on it. That would be really nice. Fire 3 is nice, though. Magic power plus one's good. Fire two, MP. Got cure two, life two, remedy. That's a good one from uh, from a healing perspective. Yeah, okay. So we are sitting at 7-5 right now. Naked Yeti hype. So we have the Magitech factory, we have the Opera House we could do for Celis also. We are free. I think we're going to go do the Opera House, actually. Because we have a chance to possibly do some fights here. To help our humble friends. <laughs> the naked yeti carrying the whole seat on his naked back. Shout out to Chuckles W73 for being the namesake for the yeti. One of the nicest guys you will ever meet, hands down. Just, I, it just blows my mind. That this, this has been like this.
Okay, we now have access to all the things. One thing you'll notice is that sword tech is a lot faster in the randomizer. We're gonna actually probably fight all of these if these are just proto armor. Hopefully the boss is not bad. Yeah, this is a good experience. This is this is definitely what we want. I've never had a, ye a Yeti-centric seed before. Man, he's just going hand with that blizzard orb. Well, we just fought a stray cat, so if we ever find someone that has rage, they will have access to Cat Scratch. Okay, let's see what this boss is. <laughs> now the Yeti has an AoE, it's game over. <laughs> I, I love how active chat has been during all this. this. This has been the most active I've seen it throughout the marathon. I could be wrong, but man, I, I'm so glad it's for this one. <laughs> We're all in this together, folks. You know how... Um, Vivek, this had asked for, for your energy for the, the Zeramus fight. I'm just going to need your energy for this entire seed, please. Just put the hands up and just keep them up in the air. Still not enough for Grand Train yet. Oh, no, the Yeti! The Yeti's confused! Hit him! Hit the Yeti! Hit him! Hit the Yeti! Hit him! Oh god! <laughs> it's gone! It's gone mad! Hit the Yeti! Stop him! Don't kill him! <laughs> oh jeez! Oh my god! My face hurts! Oh! So the only thing with, with him doing the wall changes, that can eat the storm, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I'm sure there's gonna be some fun clips coming out of this one. 4,000 damage! The Yeti, the Yeti strikes again. So what's our reward for this? I think we can go wreck Dullahan now. Try talk. Magicite. Okay, we're at seven and six. We are making progress.
Shell and reflect. All right, I'm gonna grab a free heal really quick, and I think we're gonna go beat Dullahan since it's it's really it's really quick. And now that the Yeti is uh, put in some work, yeah, that 50% HP gain. They're actually they're, you can get up to 100% too, which is nice. Okay, we know this is Dullahan. We're gonna do this again. This time I feel a little more prepared. Now, I'm kind of curious. I think ice may heal him. I'm not sure, though, entirely. I, I have a remedy this time. Oh, also, Quadruslice putting in some work. So what makes that one so great is it ignores defense. Crap, it heals. So... We may have to take that off of him. I may want to reset and just do that for what it's worth. Yeah, all I have is ice rods as well. Oh, I have a fire rod. Yeah, resetting might be the right the right call here, considering he's just going to blast him. Okay, we're just going to take that off of him, and we'll be good. Because he's, he, he's, the orb is hitting for too much. It's hitting for like 1,300 on, on that side, so. We will give him something else. We'll put the hero ring back on him. <laughs> I swear I'm gonna watch this VOD back. Oh, ri you know, Ribbon is a good call. Ribbon's a very good call. Because apparently that, that reflect keeps hitting us. Hey, I know Pearl. I know warp. That's fun stuff. Not gonna work this time. Thanks for the ribbon call, chat. She's doing 2,400 damage. Wow, Naked Body's doing 1.4k. I don't think Air Anchor works on this, but we'll try it anyway. <gasps> Brand Train! Let's go, baby! Get on that train! Choo choo! We're fi we're finally finding some damage. There we go. 
We are finding our footing. The Yeti hero we need. Another Magicite. We made progress. Seven and seven? Is that where we're at right now? Yep, that's where we be. What's that one got us? Life 2, Cure 2, Warp. Magic power plus one. We don't have any strength espers, unfortunately. We're going to put that uh, blizzard orb back on. We're going to leave the ribbon on, I think. Okay, natural magic on yogurt. Yeah, agreed. All right. What's next? Uh, we have a free check for Celis in South Figaro. I think I'm going to go grab that really quick. This would be the area where you would normally find Celis in the vanilla game. There are a lot of really great trackers that are out there too, which uh, I'm using Emo Tracker right now, which there's a, a really good uh, plugin for it. There's actually an auto tracker that's built uh, that you can get. There's a community uh, thing for it, which is super handy. What am I doing? I'm going through the, the, tre the treasure chest route now. We found ourselves Pico de Guile, Sabin himself. I'm just gonna peek and see what it has. Also, the, the crazy white-eyed Mog is pretty pretty cool. Natural magic. Has the has the magic command and that's it. What do you start with? Anything? Could be some good stuff on there, possibly. But we're gonna swap things back. He had dance, yes, that's it. So dance is not great for what it's worth, unfortunately. Let's see what, uh... He has no dances yet. Pico just wants to dance. And there, there he is in chat, the, the man himself. Alright, we're gonna swap him back out, though, for LFP. But we have a whole mess of checks now with him, too. He provides quite a bit, and a lot of fast ones as well. Actually, one of them is Mount Colts, which gives us some access to some treasure too, so we're gonna, we're gonna do that. Actually, we're gonna hop on here, we're gonna swap our party back. Got to bring the Yeti. I didn't expect to have to want to, to want to have the Yeti, but it's it's canon. <laughs> this is what we need. We need it. All right, maybe we'll find some good treasures here on Mount Colts potentially. We also got a, a other couple fun things we can check. Uh, with Sabin in the world of light or the world of balance. Vivify is nice. We can do the Baron Falls. We can do the Ghost Train. We can do the Imperial Outpost. And also the 
in the world of ruin, the crumbling house in Zen is what Sabin gives us. And that, that is a free check uh, with two monsters in the boxes in there, too, no less. Snowman can't. I love it. Yeti Yeti, he's our man. If he can't do it, Snowman can. Ooh, found a striker. All right, we're going to save before the boss just in case I need to reset and take off the blizzard orb because it seems like a lot of a lot of bosses sometimes will have uh, absorption for ice. So this is just a safety save just in case. We're definitely behind schedule because last night I was entering Kefka's tower around this time. So but we were uh that was a pretty good seed we had. I think my final time for that one. I ran into a roadblock with Guardian, but um, it was like a 227. The longest seed that we had in practice was four hours. And this is <laughs> this is looking like it. Oh shit! Well we're we're resetting. Oh no 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 he's no he's good. He, we're good. He uses ice but it's he's not ice immune to my knowledge. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Okay, no, we're good. I have Pearl, too, I think. Get on the train! That healed? What healed him? Okay, sorry. It was, so he does use ice. It's Goddess that uses Bolt. Sorry, thank you for confirming, guys. So we will take off Blizzard Orb, and I'm glad I made the save then. Also, thanks for throwing that out there. Give him the hero ring. Why not? So the good thing is that the Yeti is pretty well suited for this. The main the main thing that Doom has is force field, which nullifies a certain element. We are in this together. Yeah, this is this is if there's ever been a community seat, it's this. And for those that don't know, I mentioned that I'm I'm dreadfully colorblind, so I missed the, the small text at the bottom there with the uh the colors, so. Pearl. Sword tech. Man, even the boomerang's doing some pretty good damage for the Yeti. Grand train I know is good. Because that is non-elemental damage. Well, that did, that did some serious work there, Yogurt. 3.5k, let's go. We really need to get some uh, elemental resistance for yogurt and LFP. They're really hurting. Okay, so he's gonna cast force field here, which will nullify something. It doesn't really matter, we're not really using elemental attacks. She's throwing down 3,200 damage. Reverse polarity? It doesn't, it doesn't do anything for us. All it does is just bring the close, the, the Yeti closer to your death there, Doom. Quadra Slice is so good, especially against single targets. If we can get her a Hyper Wrist, that would do a lot, a lot of damage. 
Because that, that buffs, uh... Oh yeah, you target the Yeti. You target, you see what happens. Easy does it. All right, we're, we're slapping now, which is good. We got a flame shield. All right, we have some elemental resistance now that I can throw on one of those characters. And Genji armor, nice piece of armor there too. Yeti percent. That's honestly, that's what this is feeling like. We're going to cop a quick heal here. And we're going to go do a couple rapid fire checks for Sabin. Because they're all basically in one area here, which is great. We're going to do the uh, the outpost first. Park, please. Thank you. Ch there he is, Chuckles the Hero, in, in chat. The namesake of the Yeti has carried this seed. So there's a monster in a box here that we will likely just dip into and see what we, what we can find. Whoops. First things first though, we're going to check right behind here. That is a chest I didn't know existed in vanilla. Oh wait, where am I at? It's in this one. This is the monster. Monster to box one. PM Stalker is nothing. That's no big deal. Free experience for everybody. He will come back. They are immune to death. I'm gonna save my grand train. Wow, <laughs> that doesn't happen where, where they spread the damage like that. That was actually the perfect roll. You love to see it. All right, what, uh, what bosses and enemies do we have to fight? All right, let's go music box. Cut them down. I did, I did put the blizzard back on. Experience egg, so this is a dead check. No character, no magicite. It's our third experience egg, though. Okay, so we're gonna leave here, we're gonna go do... ...the falls, and we're gonna do the, the phantom train, then. Got cure two and life two on standby. So healing now is not a problem. I think we also know Remedy too, which is nice. Okay, we're gonna go jump off a, a waterfall for some reason.
Unfortunately, we don't have anyone that has Blitz, and also there's no guarantee we're going to fight the Phantom Train at the end of it. It's going to be a random boss of some sort. Oh, we found Kefka. Oh, wow, that's four point eight K. And that's the end of that one. Let's see what we get. I think I might start checking some relic shops. If we can get a hyper wrist, uh, that's going to really beef up the quadra slice damage. We get to see what our reward is for this one. We're going to go do the, the phantom train after this, and then we got some other stuff we can do. Now the seat is moving, which feel, feels good. Marvel shoes, baby! It's Marvel, baby! Actually, a, a very underrated relic, hands down. Oh, you know what? I don't have the blizzard orb on him. That's fine. That's all good. You know what? Uh, we're gonna let him just go ham. We're gonna give him the Marvel shoes. He needs some kicks. He's doing some good damage for us. It'll be good. All right, really quick, I'm going to do some quick shopping checks. And then we'll, we'll do the Phantom Train. I'm so, I'm so glad you guys are all having a great time with this. I, I, I wasn't really sure exactly about how, you know, a, a long-winded RPG uh, randomizer would be uh, accepted. Especially if, like, you guys don't know what's going on in Final Fantasy VI, but it, everyone can just kind of rally behind the, our, our friend the Yeti. Oh hell, what am I doing? Okay, no Hyper Wrist, unfortunately. Yeah, now now our naked yeti can run fast. <laughs> we we got we got him some shoes. Got him some shoes. Yeah, if if it was a normal seed, right? That I mean that honestly makes sense. But this is anything but normal. Cat hood's for sale here. Yes, Chuckles. For some reason, the palette the palette change it gave you kind of a naked hue, which I didn't know about. But we're just gonna let it ride. Grab a couple of those just so we have them in dire straits. Okay. Wait, is there a clock in there? Did I just see that? No. Okay. <laughs> go do the uh, go do the ghost train. For what it's worth, guys, just a few things to throw out there about the 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 Worlds Collide community. They do a lot of really great events. Uh, they have a seat of the week where you can do an, it's an asynchronous race where they, they post a seat and everyone posts their times on the first try. You know, basically just going blind into it. And um, they also do, they did a knockout tournament for it. They do weekly community races on Random Mania. And also they recently have, I'm not sure if it concluded or if it's still going on, they had something called the Kefka Grand Prix where they had weekly seeds and basically what, whatever places the guys got, 
um, that competed in it, they they got points. And basically at the end of it, it was like a season. It was super cool. So, really a whole lot of stuff going on in that community. Very, very neat. Alright, so we get one goodie for this one. We're looking for Magisite. We got Magisite, so it is worth it. That brings us to 8 and 8, I believe. 8 and 8, baby. That one teaches Pearl, which is kind of nice. I think we'll go with that one. Also, MP boost, so that, that's a really good one. Untested rando seeds. Oh, well, that's what this is, and this is glorious. Well, the Yeti's doing a little more damage nowadays, isn't he? I can't wait to watch back the clips for this one. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm sure a couple have been made. Okay, we have a couple of treasure chests to get. Also gonna show you guys something you may not know existed in this game, too. I didn't know about it when I was, when I was playing vanilla. I believe it's in this one? No, that's the, that's the sick free chest. We don't wanna waste time on that one. Right here, check this out. There's a hidden item on the floor in the corner of that, uh, that cap, the, that, uh, little compartment. I think this one's empty. I don't think there's anything here. No, so this one doesn't have anything. Yep. Pretty crazy, right? Alright, there's a monster in a box here. Let's see what it is. The biggest of the boys! Do we have muddle? Oh, we do. Wait, is that going to unmuddle him? So that, that's how you cheese Katana Soul, and we now have ourselves an offering. Alright, chat, who should I give the offering to? You want me to give it to the Yeti? You want to see him slap four times? Let's see, do we have a better weapon for him? Oh, he is a Skyrender now! Okay, Yeti now has uh, one of the most powerful swords in the game. This fight kind of sucks. Thankfully, he does not use Zinger. Does Pearl heal you? I can't remember. I'm just gonna grand train you.
Yeah, Pearl Heels. Okay. Need to get you some actual magic. Probably should heal too while I'm at it. Maybe get some experience for these guys. I think we have a Genji glove. I'll have to double check. Now we have Genji armor and shields and stuff, but... Fortunately, this fight's kind of annoying since I can't target my highest damage attacks. And also, my pearl spell ain't gonna do anything. Well, we'll have Music Box bring everybody back. We'll have uh, Chuckles keep doing his, his thing. Grand Train definitely helps. reflect all they want. Well, that, that actually does pretty good damage, even if it's targeted. There it is, crack boom. It took a little bit longer than I had hoped, but it wasn't too bad. Okay, Phantom Train is done. Waterfall is done. We can do we can get the free kid. Cave on the Velt. Alright, I think we're gonna we're gonna go do uh we're gonna go to Zen quick. Both World of Balance and World of Ruin. Thanks for the GG's guys, appreciate it. So we're going to go to World of Balance, because I should be able to buy something on the cheap. Potentially could be a Magisite, could be something else. Okay, so there's the Imperial Cap. Maybe we'll do the, uh, you know what, we'll have to do the Magitech Factory. Since we're here, that we have that for Celis. Also, that's a banger of a song that I'm sure we all want to hear. Yeah, let's do that for the sake of routing. 31,000. Also, he didn't say glowing stone, so it's probably not Magisite. We're not going to worry about it. All right, we're going to do we're going to do this. Putting Yeti in the front row so he doesn't get his, his damage neutered now that he's using a sword. We're, we're making sure he does the full, full shebang. This 
There's a treasure chest over there we could check. Yeah, this this is a banger right here. You guys enjoy this one. All right, we're gonna grab the treasure chest that's over here. Why not? Thunder Shield. That teaches bolt three, buddy. We have some good gear now. That tabby suit increases vigor slightly. We'll go with that. Alright. Yeah, sour please right here. This is this is a good one. Couple of boss fights to make through on this one. <laughs> lit three. Yeah, we're, get, we're about to get lit. Star pendants. Attack star. <laughs> oh, frontal yeti. What the heck? We're, we're gonna go ham. I'm, I'm on the hunt for either a Genji Glove or an Illumina. Could you imagine the Yeti with the Illumina? How nice would that be? Dragon Horn, if only we had Dragoon Boots. Genji, oh, I got excited. Found a Genji helmet. So we have a we have a couple of bosses to get through on this one, and we have to do the the minecart escape sequence also. So you guys are gonna see that sweet sweet mode seven. Okay, this can be a scary fight. We need to kill the top one first. They basically attack with all elements. We need the damage to go up top, thank you, because that person can cast life too. Oh, 4.3? Let's go. Zero damage. Flare Star hurts. That's gonna be life too. She's gonna be coming back. Oh no! We double killed! The Yeti just double killed!
Yeah, this fight's over. Nice job, everybody. Genji shield. We got all the Genji pieces except the Genji glove. Need to buy more tents. Yeti has 200 IQ. Yeti freaking is going in. You love to see it. I never remember which one it's in. I rarely come here. There it is. Found a Gradus, which is a holy, a holy knife, I think. French vanilla. <laughs> Friggin' Yeti just took that out with one body body hit. Yeah, the Gradius, yep. She's doing almost 8,000 damage a turn on a single target. This is poor man's Ultima right here. Yeah, that was a pretty easy crack boom. <laughs> yeah, he removes enemy. <laughs> he literally ran into his arm so fast, just tore off. Hey, you love to see it. We are at eight and nine. We're one Magicite away from making it to the tower, but I do not feel confident by any means. All your armor belong to Yeti? Yep. The microphone I'm using right now is a blue Yeti. <laughs> Not a naked Yeti, but a blue Yeti. Also, I think we're good. We have a couple fights to make it through, but we should be fine. Yeah, where, <laughs> where are the Yeti people to donate? Yeah, exactly. The fact that we gave him an offering, though, and he has a Sky Render is just hilarious to me. I, I would love him to have a Ragnarok or an Illumina. Just to, just to further the, the, the craziness. Yeah, welcome to Mode 7, by the way, folks. Murton. Get Yeti in here's that. <laughs> You can run away from these fights. I just kind of want my guys to get experience at this point. We still haven't found like a Minerva or any like amazing, amazing gear. We've just kind of been making it work. This this has been like a, like a poverty seed. We're just kind of making it work, held together by dreams and duct tape. All right, that's overkill and a half. Eight thousand damage. 
If I can find a hyper risk, that's uh, that's what would matter to me right now. Because that damage would go way up. We, we, we would be doing more than 10k a turn. Oh, we fight the piranhas as our boss. That's cute. A Yeti's gonna take care of him. When in doubt, just throw your body at it. Yeah, that's a good that's a good boom. All right. All of Celis's checks are done. I think we might also do the the floating continent because that's also a cat jam and also the or sour please and uh, also it's a good chance for for experience. Do we get hit with another another boss fight on the way out? Crusader. Yep. Chatternook. Okay, so this one can be a little sketchy. We have to only do damage to the. Oh. <laughs> Yeti, please, please listen. We have to do damage only to the demon form. Yes, yeah, the, the cheddar nook. So it's where you hide your cheese. Also, we park that HP uh, Esper on music, and she has 5.7k max health right now, which is absurd. Oof. Lord Fancy Puss taking that one. Yeti getting the killing blow, though. Fill. I'm going to save, and then we're going to go to the floating continent, because that's a lot of quick rapid checks and a good chance for us to get uh, some some experience for the guys. We're going to swap some espers around too, because I think we need to have yogurt. Uh, needs to learn some fire. So let's we're going to swap the shield out. Good thing. Let's let's check what we got because we need to swap things out. Remedy and drain with no bonus. Oh, we got flare on Alexander though. Let's go. We're going to go to Floating Continent next, and that should give us what we need. Mm -hmm. 
we can technically go to Kefka's tower at this point. I've... I don't feel very confident about it for what it's worth. But for the sake of time, we're going we're to make the gamble. We're going to try it. Let's go, folks. One peak really fast. This is a quick check. There's a couple treasure chests we can grab here. Get the kid and get out, basically. And we have a couple monsters in a box we can kill here too. Unfortunately, this one's not great. Apologies for the flashing the lights there, guys. This is a good fight. This is the highest experience you can get from a, from a single enemy in the game. Thirty-three thousand is pretty nice. Okay, kid, get on the Yeti's back. Oops, that's not the door. Please be an item or good magicite. <laughs> Careful, the Yeti. Could you imagine just throwing the kid? <laughs> oh, we never went to Albrook, did we? Palador. Hey, that's helpful. Fire stops slow, magic power plus one. Lots of magic power plus ones. No strength espers, unfortunately. We're gonna go pop down to Allbrook really quick, stock up on some items. I'm gonna grab a couple more Phoenix Downs just in case. And then we're gonna heal up and then we're gonna go tackle tackle the tower. Where the heck is the town down here? I don't really come to Albrook here. I think it's Albrook. Or is it Miranda? Well, we may skip it then. Because I can't remember where it is. You know what? F it. We're going to skip it. We're just going to go for it. It's our last, our last tent night. 
We're going to save right here. We're going to go for it. Going into the tower pretty late, and not, I'm not feeling entirely confident. Last chance to check equipment here. Okay. Celis is our best consistent damage that we have. We're gonna we're gonna put LFP and sets her together. LFP and yogurt. Yeti's gonna have to rock it by himself. I almost thought we would not make it here <laughs> in the seed. Another sour please right here. Warpstone ain't gonna do much for us. I'm afraid. Come on, game. Give me something good at the end. We forgot to put a, a Moogle charm on. Oh, well, at least this is easy. Let them fight these just for some, some tiny experience. Remember when Gao didn't have fight? That was fun. Gal is adorable now, yeah. Level three Gal. I remember I was gonna try to teach him Quake at the beginning of this seed. Oh my god, please give me something good. So, Atma is an optional boss fight that's up there. Oh, we're gonna pass on that. All does does it give you a save point. Ice Shield is nice. Come on, Illumina or Ragnarok? For a Minerva. You owe me, game. After all of this, you owe me. Hyperwrist would also be hype. Set of earrings ain't bad. I could throw that on uh, on yogurt. We're running out of chests though. We don't have too many left. I 
Remedy and beads. Yeah, Celis is Celis is gonna be a big damage sponge, which is great. Okay, here's a hidden chest that I didn't know existed in the vanilla game. This is a meme chest. Please be something good. Hey, Aegis Shield is really nice. Honestly, I can't scoff at that. I think that raises her max health, doesn't it? I could be wrong, however. It does slightly. That's fine. I wonder what the Apple weapon would do with that much damage. Just curious. Even though we're going to be using sword tech, I'm very curious. You know, let's do something crazy for a second. Consider this an experiment. Eight thousand damage that way. Oh, my God, four thousand. Okay, that's four thousand damage. Oh, my health went down a little bit. Okay. So, we need, we need a wall ring. My experiment failed, by the way. Magic Master is pretty rough. If we could Berserk him, that'd be great, but I don't think anyone knows Berserk. At least, not in that party. Okay, that actually increases her vigor, which does more damage. So, Wing Edge is definitely the right way to go with this. We need elemental protection, I think. Tortoise ain't bad. Tabby raises it slightly. Okay, I need to look at something really fast. It absorbs water and does really little else. Teaches Imp. Interesting. It's got a lot of evade and M block, though. I know that's part of the Imp series. Yeah, unfortunately, the Pally Shield, we didn't we never got locked, so we never got access to it. Seems the Aegis is actually better for M block, curiously enough. Well, it ain't great. I don't believe she knows Berserk. There's not really much. We have to kind of rely on the sword techs. This is a rough fight to find here, unfortunately. This is a pretty big hurdle. Yeah, we'll pass on the Green Beret.
Wow, his magic power is so high. Okay, we're doing 12k, 12k damage, though. If we can get a couple of attacks off, we can do this. That's gonna hurt. Oh, he has so much health! We've done 24,000 damage to him already. Okay, so unfortunately, folks, we need to brute force this. I may actually just swap in a... It seems like he's using a lot of ice attacks, so I may just swap in an ice shield. Thunder shield seems here good here, yeah. We're gonna go ice shield for this time around. I'm gonna see if I if I can drop an elixir, that would be helpful. Unfortunately, I can't bring in the Yeti. I, I would have to exit out of this entirely for me to, to go back and get the Yeti. I know we can do this. She does a lot of damage. Magic, Magic Master's magic power is just so off the charts. So, and I don't have mute. We just need to get lucky here. How did he die that time? I'm not gonna question it, but we did basically the same amount of damage. And she didn't even take a hit. Yeah, that'll do it. Progress, folks, we're moving on. I'm not gonna question it. Let's go. That's a cool dragon sprite. Okay, bring in the Yeti. The final chest in the game. Green cherry. <laughs> We've got five bosses to go. Or no, four bosses to go at this point. this chicken. <laughs> it's really cool to see a lot a lot of my friends here in the chat too and, and uh, some friends I've yet to meet. Glad to have you all here, seriously. Okay, Celis, you need to do this. You need to do this. Whatever this is in front of you, you need to do it. We're bringing them in for bodies at this point. Okay, Air Force we can work with.
She attacked the wrong thing, but that's okay. We did 9,000 damage to the Air Force. He's currently counting up, I think, Wave Cannon right now. Yeah, DPS should win this. Because right this, this is going to be 12k damage. Nice job, Celis. Last boss that, that Celis has to face alone. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Not too bad. Dance, Pico, dance. Who needs a thunder rod? Runic it, yeah. All right. Two bosses left to go until the climb. We're bringing in the Yeti. We need a boss that the Yeti can work with. I probably should have put the Blizzard Orb on for this one. Delta hit is going to be a problem. Shrapnel did one. Okay, the Yeti needs to kill at least one arm to prevent Delta hit from happening. Come on, Yeti, let's do this. I just the the comically low <laughs> damage numbers just blow my mind. Okay, he killed an arm, so Delta hit is off the table. Okay, he, he took care of the arms. He can only hit the body now. Just slapping meat <laughs> for 2,000 damage. <laughs> Yeti just went ham and just tore those arms off. Oh, the arms come back. Damn it. No, that that could be rip. I think that that's guaranteed to hit, and I don't think I don't think a ribbon prevents that either. So I think I'm gonna put uh, Blizzard Orb on since we're fighting Inferno, and that because that does really good damage, for what it's worth. I'm gonna try Blizzard Orb. We're gonna get rid of the the um. The offering, for now, and the Marvel shoes. I'm gonna try Blizzard Orb. And I'm going to try Ribbon, just in case. I don't think it prevents against Delta Hit, but we'll, we'll try it. We have encountered a wall 
every single step of the way in this seed. Ribbon stops Delta? Okay. Blizzard Orb should help. I probably should have moved him back a little bit, though. Throw money at it! Well, that did some damage, didn't it? Okay, good. That's good to know that Ribbon does stop Delta. Oh my god, the triple block! Quadruple block! I don't know if the Yeti can do this. Not with this health. I gotta believe! Storm does not do as much damage as I was hoping it would against Inferno. It's kind of a disappointment. Wave Cannon did zero! 4,000 damage! Come on, Yeti, can you pull this out? Is it possible? That should kill. Unfortunately, yes. Damn! Yeah, desperation attack would be amazing. So, we're just going to have to throw attempts at this one, I guess. Do I have any gear I can I can sacrifice to give him? We need a ribbon, guaranteed. Like, that's a guarantee on this one. We could do ribbon plus marble shoes to give him uh, some more attacks to work with. Wall ring won't, won't protect against any of that stuff. Yeah, you know what? Narvel shoes might do the trick. Yeah, that's one of the best weapons you can have, hands down. Yeah, right, exactly. I think that's... We're gonna have to go with it. We're gonna throw another attempt at it. Worst comes to worst, I can exit out of this and come back and just push someone through as another team. Because all the all the bosses will stay dead for what it's worth. The good news is he he won't he's not gonna use any magic this time around. So, he won't trigger the uh, the missile attack that basically shredded his health. Landslide kind of sucks. Nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. But this time now, we have we get more turns. We have safe. We have shell. We have regen. We're slapping meat for 4.3k? <laughs> Believe! I believe! I'm, I'm putting up the hands. The controller is down. There's nothing I can do about it anyway. Believe in the Yeti!
Come on, baby, let's go. I do apologize, we're gonna be overestimate here, guaranteed, but. I tried, I really did. Throw that body, let's go. This is your chance to attack when, he, when his arms are down. Oh my god! <laughs> the back-to-back -back mono, let's go! Let's go, baby! All right, arms are back. So he's gonna divert his attention a little bit. Grand Train! Oh no! He did it! He fucking fucked! He did it! The legend! I can't believe it! Oh my god! Third time is the charm. Never, never count out the Yeti. <laughs> All right. Final boss before the final, final boss. Give him the hero ring. Not really gonna matter too much, but still. First try, let's go. Senor Behemoth. That's good damage. Not dead yet. Not dead yet. We got one more. Nice. One and done. Alright guys, that's all five. Someone has Golem. Who has Golem currently equipped? You do. Okay. These are for tier three that I'm grabbing these. All right, we just we just broke our estimate, unfortunately. But hey, that's how it goes. But we're we're going into the final fight for what it's worth now.
Here we go. This has been extra fun. <laughs> I'm glad you guys think so, really, truly. Yeah, remember when I said this is going to be a four-hour seed? It's, it's still possible. This is probably, honestly, this is probably the scariest part of the run, hands down, because we're going to be, we're, we're bringing a Berserker into this fight uh, where you need to do very specific things. We're going to have to rely really heavily on Celis and the Magic Casters to really bring this home. We don't have any amazing equipment. We don't have Illumina's Ragnaroks. We don't have Minerva's. So, it's going to be a little scary. Here we go. Okay, we have Cleave. We're gonna take care of the long arm with this. She has a wall ring on. Hmm. All right. We'll let it ride. I have elixirs if I need them. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. It's not even worth progressing. So what happened is both of them died at the same time. You have to kill the head. So for what it's worth, uh, the final battle is... Oh, I should have taken wall ring off. It doesn't matter. The The final battle is not scaled. So we are fighting... We are facing them with the, the full amount. Yeah, that making the reset was the right call on this one. Hands down. Because basically what happens is if someone dies, when you go into the next tier, they are then replaced by those that are in the order. Our goal is to try to carry these basically to the end as best as possible. We do not have float. No, unfortunately. Just that we never came across it. We have one cherub down. Uh, but if I if I do this first part correctly... Um, we will kill the head, uh, before the, the short arm. We'll get rid of the long arm with cleave, which is nice. Can to try to target damage up top there. Thank you, Yeti. You're helping. You're very much helping. What a helpful Yeti. Okay, the head is dead. We, we no longer have risk of quake. And now we can let her go ham. It's a single target. Here comes 13k damage. I 
That's a pretty fast Form 1. Form 2, we need to use Cleave right out of the gates to kill Machine. We then need to try to- I think someone has Mute. We can Mute Magic. We kill Magic, which is in the back. We kill the Tiger, and then the Purple Guy. Purple Guy does 10 hits. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah, now we're getting to the major hurdles. We have Mute. We're gonna cleave. Also, best song ever. Okay, machine is dead. We need to get rid of Tiger. It's pretty bad. He's muted. He's fine. You know what? I should leave him alone. Let's get rid of Tiger next. Go, Yeti. Go. Go for the Tiger. Uh, does not heal nearly enough. I know that's a pro win work, thank you. Tiger is dead. Okay. She has no cure three. I have a Mega Elixir. That's good. So beating Magic Master gave us a Mega Elixir, which is nice. He can't cast it because he's muted. I think that's his dying breath right there. He's dead. Okay, Celis, go for it. We have to survive 10 hits. All right, now this is the scary part. Welcome in BDOT and BDOT's viewers. We are at the end of Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide Randomizer. This has been a seed for the ages. This is the scary part, folks. This is the real true boss right here. We can't actually do damage to that. Good Yeti, let's go.
flare will do damage here. Okay, lady is dead. All that's left is magic. I need to be very careful how I how I damage him. No. It missed. No, it, it didn't. Crap. Okay. I was in a menu. I'm just going to wait for the death per yogurt. I'm going to life to him back. Damn it. Oh, all right. Come on, just kill her. Thank you. She'll come back alive, that's fine. The Eddie's been doing some damage. That's okay. Now I'm gonna bring her in. It's only Cure 2 and not Cure 3. We're gonna lay the damage on as best as we can. Oh my god. So LFP and Yogurt are dead. It's down to the Yeti and music to carry this all the way through. That's it. Yeah, that calmness block. It's gonna be a tight one, folks. Time ends on the first flash. We have one Mega Elixir in our pocket. That's it. Here we go, folks. I can't trust anyone else to use it. Yeti. Good block. Charging up Goner.
Oh boy. One damage to the Yeti! One damage! He took that goner in the face and got the final hit afterward! It's over! <laughs> that big strong attack, the biggest baddest attack that the final boss uses did one damage to the Yeti standing in the front row. What a legendary seed that was. My goodness gracious. Yeti 316. <laughs> we used Umaro the entire seed from the beginning to the end. This started off as a Gao Umaro seed, and it was garbage from the get go. Yeah, all that trouble, and only 16 minutes overestimate, and 20 of it was a Welk fight. Yeti percent is complete. <laughs> Unfortunately, it looks like we're, we're not going to get the, the ending from this for whatever reason. Uh, but, uh, again... My my sincerest uh, love to all of you. Thank you guys very, very much. I'm sure that they want to get moving on here. Thank you for hanging out. Again, that was uh, Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide FF6WC.com. If you want to check it out, try it yourself. If you guys ever have any questions about it and want to see what, what goes on with that, hit me up, let me know. Check out their Discord. Awesome stuff to, to do there. Guys, have yourself a great rest of your day. Uh, thanks for hanging out through that. A lot of fun and laughs. Uh, I'll be around again later on, Retrothon 2021. And uh, I'll be around tomorrow for another random filled game, Demon Sword for the NES. And on Saturday, I'll be doing F Zero Grand Prix for Blue uh, with Blue Falcon. So, hope you guys have a good one. Next up is Final Fantasy IV un <laughs> Unprecedented Crisis. I, I think we just ha set the precedent for our crisis uh, by uh, our good friend Couch Twenty Three here in chat. <laughs> yes, yeah, Final Fantasy IV. Let's kick back, relax, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it easy. Thank you so much for hanging out, everybody. Uh, truly my pleasure. Again, Retrofile TV here, and uh, we'd love to see you guys again soon. Thanks, guys.